This model in Eurovia colours comes in a standard Conrad box, but it does have a label at the end which shows a picture of it. And when you pull out the insides, there's a foam rubber covering. This protects the model well, and there's only a couple of parts. There's the tipper body itself, and also the MAN tractor, and there's a small bag of parts to fit to the tractor. As usual for Conrad truck models, some of the small parts, which are plastic, need to be carefully cut off and uh, trimmed, ready for use, and it's best to use a sharp modelling knife for that, and that includes the mirrors and aerials on this model. The mirrors just fit into place into preformed holes in the cab door, and um, it can be slightly fiddly to get them in, but um, once they're in, they're usually um, a good enough fit so that they stay in. You might just need to uh, press them home properly and then you've got the mirrors fitted. On this MAN tractor there's also a small mirror to fit on the passenger side door mirror and that just pushes into place although you might need to trim the moulding a little bit to get a good fit. The last bit to fit can be fun packed or frustrating depending on how you look at it and that's to get the roof aerial in place in its hole. Sometimes these go in easily and sometimes not and it's best to try and use tweezers like this to just put the downward pressure right into where the hole is. And you can see here that it's working, but the tractor's bucking up a bit. The detail under the MAN is okay. The transmission and rear axle is plastic, and the steering is modelled for functionality rather than accuracy. The MAN does look pretty good in Eurovia colours, and there's colour-coded door mirrors too. And there are some nice details such as plastic lenses on the lights. But there's no number plates which would have made it a bit more realistic, although the wheel hubs do look good. At the back the wheel arches look fine, the lights have plastic lenses, but again there's no number plates. The trailer detailing is pretty simple by modern standards, but the axles are all metal. The chassis is all metal with limited detail, but there is a plastic access platform at the front. The tipper body is metal with some subtle detailing in the side panels, and the added graphics add interest. At the rear the light clusters are painted on. Moving on to the test track, the MAN rolls very well in a straight line as you would expect. And picking it up there's the typical Conrad range of movement on the rear axle, but the steering range of movement is really excellent and you can get a very hard lock on the steering and it really will turn for a very sharp corner indeed. The other feature that the MAN tractor offers is a tilting cab and if you push that forward it will stay tilted and there's a reasonable plastic engine that can be seen uh, underneath and then you can just close the cab up again. Moving right along to the Schmitz cargo ball tipper, all of the wheels on that uh, roll smoothly when you push it along and each of the axles does have a range of up and down movement that's independent and it's a bit like suspension but there's no spring involved it's just a up and down movement that's possible. If you want to stand the trailer on its own there are a couple of plastic stabilizer feet that can be pulled down but uh, gosh they can be stiff to pull out but once they're out then they do support the trailer really quite well. Of course tractors and trailers like to spend their lives together so it's easy to join them up. The kingpin on the trailer just pushes and clips into the fifth wheel on the tractor and then you formed a smart looking vehicle which looks ready for some action. Of course a tipper is designed to tip and this model works pretty well. There's a multi-stage cylinder that uh, just pulls out and you can get a decent angle of about 40 degrees on the tipper. The tailgate opens, it's a um, little bit stiff on the review model, it's better if they uh, flap about a little bit I think, but uh, it works fine. And when you've tipped your load you can push the tipper body back down quite easily. There's one other small feature on the model and that is that the access ladder up to the access platform can be folded down and it folds back up. But there's a small problem in the scaling of the model because if the tractor and trailer are straight you then can't actually lower the ladder. This is a pretty good looking model from Conrad really because of the Eurovia livery. The level of detail is not particularly high but it works well enough and if you want to pose it with other models then it's recommended.